gastritis and uh, malabsorption, leaky gut, SIBO. I have a lot of gut issues, so because of all of my stomach issues, specifically the cyclic vomiting, I am not eating the way a normal person would eat. So I just wanted to put that out there that what I eat is not something that I encourage other people to eat. This is just to show you what someone with cyclic vomiting syndrome eats with a mild flare-up who is plant-based and yeah. So also I wanted to point out that I do drink water and a lot of it because I have pots. So I drink so much water, probably like one to two liters a day, if not more, like half a gallon. The water that I drink throughout the day, I did not vlog, but just keep in mind, I'm constantly chugging water when I eat and between meals. Drink your water guys because water is life. Yeah, that's all I wanted to say. So let's get right into the video. So smoothies are really good because you can get a large volume of nutrition without having to put a large volume of food in your stomach to digest all at once. It's really good for my cyclic vomiting and intestinal dysmotility. So in this smoothie, I put a small beet, a honeycrisp apple, some baby kale, some vegan yogurt, some ginger, and what else? Some frozen blackberries and some freshly ground flax seeds. that I always include some flaxseed oil in my smoothie or just by the spoonful. I do a tablespoon a day. It helps my Sjogren's and I find that flax seeds in general are really helpful for me. I grind my flax seeds in an electric grinder because when they are freshly ground they are their most nutritious and they're easier for your body to absorb and digest that way. Don't you just love that color? I just love the color of beads. They're so pretty. I'll try to estimate the measurements of the ingredients for this smoothie and I'm going to include it in the description box below if you're interested. Cheers guys to your health. I wish you all the best health. And if you're not in good health, I wish that you would be feeling as good as you possibly could feel. And I hope that your body takes it easy on you today. So I was really craving a beet smoothie. I don't know if it's because of the iron that I need because I've been really anemic. I mean, I'm, I've been anemic my whole life, but I've been more anemic lately. So it could be that. This is so good, y'all. You really need to try this. And I put some apple to make it a little sweet and I am eating the rest of the apple because I didn't want to put all of it in there. And I put some blackberries for the antioxidants, some flax seeds for the omega-3s, and some unsweetened plain yogurt, vegan of course, for the creaminess. It just made it like a little thicker and creamy and just so delicious. Oh yeah, and I almost forgot I put ginger in here, like my favorite ingredient ever, and I can't believe I almost forgot it. Ginger is so delicious and it gives it a little kick and it just makes it extra good. It takes it over the top. I put kale in it too, so ginger, beet, apple, kale, <laughs> yogurt, flaxseed, and blackberries, and then a little water. So that's everything in this movie. So good. So I was feeling some pasta, so I had some tinkya da gluten-free noodles with some broccoli 
some vegan Italian sausage and some marinara and I mixed in a little bit of vegan cream cheese to make it extra creamy and a little bit of kale just for some extra veg in there I had my dinner with a strawberry waterloo which is my favorite sparkling water and this dinner was so cozy so yummy warming and delicious I added a little bit of garlic salt and yeah this is just a go-to recipe I love pasta wish I could say I ate it all but I didn't have the room Saturday started off with soaking some cashews for a cashew chili lime dressing that I'm going to use. It's a good oil-free dressing or sauce. That's what I'm going to use later for my dinner. And then I had some clementines. I was feeling pretty nauseated, so I ended up having a vanilla protein shake in bed. Koya is my favorite. It has 18 grams of protein and is really filling. Just a few sips and holds me over for a while. And yeah, that's just life with cyclic vomiting syndrome. Sometimes you have to have a protein shake as a meal and it is what it is. So for dinner tonight, I am making another go-to recipe of mine, which is a sweet potato chickpea bowl. I have many variations of this and I just kind of use whatever vegetables I have on hand. And of course I stick with what's in season, which I try to do for the most part. The one exception here is the bell pepper. Here I'm mincing the garlic and I totally forgot that these ingredients are going to go in the blender so I didn't have to mince the garlic, but I guess I just did it by habit. I'm going to link the cashew dressing recipe below in the description box for anyone who's interested. It is super delicious and healthy on your heart since it's oil free. So here I am just cutting up some romaine and I always gotta have those leafy greens for my dinner and most of my meals I try to incorporate greens because they're loaded with nutrition and I'm just drizzling over my yummy cashew sauce which is full of good healthy fats and deliciousness. And for a bedtime snack I had some mint chocolate cookies with the rest of my koya. So I always have these high ambitions to have these amazing breakfasts like oatmeal or my roasted potato. It's a roasted sweet potato with almond butter and beets and sometimes I put blueberries on it and you know, tofu scrambles, chickpea scramble, you know, I have so many yummy breakfast options, but my cyclic vomiting doesn't allow it. I am always nauseous and I, it takes very little to fill me up and get me nauseous. So this is why I end up going to smoothies most days. So yeah, this smoothie is obviously has a ton of kale as always, plus some mango and a little bit of strawberry. And of course, all my flax seeds, four tablespoons for the omega-3s, and water and flaxseed oil. I had a little dance party because I was really feeling it and I was happy to be fueling my body with some good nutrition. Y'all, I hate wasting food when there are so many starving people in the world, so I ate my leftover pasta and then I had Boom Chicka Pop popcorn for a late night snack. I was really nauseated this morning, so I just had an Evolve protein shake for breakfast, which has 20 grams of protein. And actually, I was only able to finish half of it, to be honest. For dinner, I really felt like I had to make up for uh, the lack of calories, I suppose, for breakfast slash lunch that I didn't have today. So I made a homemade pita, which is grain-free and gluten-free, to go with my leftover chickpea sweet potato mix. And I might say it was delicious.
This pita puffs up so nicely and honestly, it is so much better than store-bought pitas that are gluten and grain, you know. This is so much better. My mom loves it and it's just so good. Let's go to an art museum, I'll explain it at the coffee shop. I know you don't get it, but there's no need to fret it. It's like a gift, it's about the thought. This morning I had some oatmeal with some frozen blueberries cooked into it and some pumpkin spice, some flax seeds, almond butter, and maple syrup. And I'm not gonna lie, I actually ended up adding a little more maple syrup than what you see here. And it was so warm and cozy and delicious. So my pots was bad this day and I really needed some salt. And I'm not gonna lie, I love me some potato chips. I misplaced the lid to my chips can and proceeded to look all over for it for the next 10 minutes. For dinner, I am having another routine meal, which is a green Thai curry. This is one of my favorite dishes. It is also very comforting and I started my period today and I'm just craving super comforting and warming and nutritious foods like more than usual today. Y'all, this is real life and I don't always eat Instagram worthy food. I'm having my go-to kale smoothie with some French bread. And oh my gosh, those trees make my soul happy. I'm just chopping up some garlic for my homemade vegan tzatziki. I love this tzatziki. It is so good. It's with plain vegan yogurt, unsweetened, some garlic, of course, some salt, onion powder, dill, and cucumber. And it is so good, guys. You should really try it. I mix it with a baked potato. I just really felt like having something comforting, and it really hit the spot. So I had pain insomnia and couldn't sleep, so I had a little chocolate. I can't help myself. Oh my darling clementines. <laughs> I had more clementines for breakfast. I love eating clementines in the winter. And then I had a koya for lunch, I suppose. I was a little nauseated, so... Um, and then for dinner, I had a French bread pizza with some vegan shredded cheese. It was my favorite brand for shredded cheese. And then ragu pizza sauce, which is, which is just what we had in the fridge. It was pretty revolutionary. <laughs> and then for a bedtime snack, I had a sleepy time tea with some honey graham crackers, which is a once in a blue moon thing. It was the one and only time I've had them. and you like the video please give it a thumbs up that really helps out my channel and if you haven't already subscribe to see more videos like this and to see me on my chronic illness journey and yeah hit the bell for notifications so you can be reminded on when I post videos all right guys I love you to pieces I'll see you next time bye <laughs>